Hey you crazy motherfuckers, welcome back to another edition of Crazy Truth. I am your host with the most, I'm Cole, and I'm here with the lovely, lovely, uh, and somewhat sore-legged Miss Amanda. Hey, why am I leg sore? I don't know, you saw what mine are, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, and we are here to titillate, tantalate, and give you the truth, and answer questions, and make you happy, and giggle, and hard, and wet, and all the other different things that we can do. It's what we do. We're like, we're like a uh, uh, genitalia factory of happiness. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's hurry and go right into our sponsors while That's we still have them, shall odd. we? First of all, this is season four, episode 170. 170. Wow. No oh, shit. 170 weeks we've been fucking spewing our shit all over our listeners. And people still listen. <laughs> Bukaki. <laughs> oh shit. Is your hair sticky yet from all the stuff we're spewing on you? Just throw it out there. Anywho. <laughs> he says that I don't. I'm not responsible for what yes, comes you out are. of his yes, mouth. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, I never know what's coming out of your I'm mouth. I'm not responsible for what's in your mouth, so it works out. <laughs> but it's chewy. Anyways. Uh, so. <laughs> Ew. That made me throw up a little bit in my mouth. Well, ah. God, I hope so. It's right. So let's. But first, let's get to our paid sponsors, shall we? We shall. Uh, first and foremost, you know what? Hey, if you want your meat rub, where would you go? I know Nebraska is <laughs> where I would go. <laughs> Sorry, Miss <laughs> Amanda was signing up for the job. No, you know what? In all seriousness, here's the deal: if you want high quality uh, lobsters or lobster rubs, you probably go to Maine. But if you want high quality meat rubs and, and barbecue treats, you'd come here to Nebraska and a Nebraska company. And you would go and get your, uh, your meat rub treats from, <laughs> God, I'm losing my mind. Smoking meats, barbecue treats.com. Uh, they are a lifestyle owned company, lifestyle supportive and damn good rubs. We've got some right here. They've got four different Thank rubs you. out here. And so you want to make sure you check them out. SmokinMeatsBarbecueTreats.com. Tell them Casba sent you. We have tried all of them. They're really good. We, they are, were a sponsor last year of Crazy Summer Nights. They're going to be a sponsor again this year. And this they is have, my favorite. They have excellent rubs, so check those out today. Uh, also, now we have we are proud to announce we have a brand new sponsor <laughs> uh, with us today. Starting with us today. Yes, we do. Okay. And so one of the cool things with this sponsor is uh, we're actually going to be doing a special show uh, we, you know we don't do interviews. We rarely ever do interviews. But we're actually going to do a special. We're interviewing the president of the company. We're going to have him on and talk about uh, his stuff. But uh, uh, anyways, so uh, the uh, the company is Promescent, and they have a wide range of products. They have everything from it, it's sexual health across the board. So uh, as we say, here at Crazy Truth, we want you to have amazing sex because we really do. Uh, which is why I want to tell you about some popular sexual enhancers. Uh, and this one is a, the uh, uh, their delay spray. Uh, it's been used by over a million men, and it's clinically proven to help you last longer in bed. It takes the edge off, which is nice, uh, and the sensitivity levels down just a bit. Not going to numb you up, so you don't have to worry about finishing too soon, which we all know that's a big deal. No prescriptions, no mess, no pes pesky la 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 la. <laughs> prescriptions jump in anytime required just better sex guaranteed with a 60-day money-back guarantee and I can tell you this I've actually used the spray myself it is actually easy to use and we know how well I do with condoms as a general rule, right mm -hmm. and this is actually a product that's very very easy to use and uh, it helped me relax it did actually help me last longer so I'm an advocate of it see what the buzz is all about for yourself grab a bottle along with all of your sexual wellness products uh, from the specially formulated arousal gels to supplements and so much more in one trusted spot that uh, ships fast and is discreet. And again, what, what, I'm trying to read this, so I do. I didn't want to screw it up. Uh, so go to uh, promescent.com. That's P R O M E S C E N T dot com, uh, and you you uh, you know get some of your must-have sexual wellness products. And for the enhancement, your sex life, and you get a fifteen percent uh, discount when you use our promo code, which is KK fifteen. Okay, so let's check that out. Crazy Casma fifteen. Check those out. So that being said, uh, I'll do better as we keep going. I don't want to screw this stuff up. They have like a heat gel thing. Yeah, for your clit. Uh, yeah, mm. Oh yeah, yeah. We we've got all kinds of, and we're going to be showing 
the stuff. And it was exciting when we talked to Jeff because he's going to tell us. He'll go through all, like, how the company started, why they started. And it's actually a really interesting story, which is why we wanted to have it on here because we don't bring product on that we don't use. So this is kind of a, a thing we wanted to do. So pretty special, kind of unique. Anyways, with that being said, uh, we are here. We're ready to go. And, yeah, we're going to talk about all kinds of stuff. Hey, I'm going to throw out there, too. Before the end of the show, get your pen and paper ready. I got some other new surprises coming. Not like birthday surprises, not like cake or anything good, but like Damn. other surprises. It could be kind of cake-ish. Cake set, you know, it just is what it is. You bring the whipped cream in here. <laughs> yeah, because that'll help us get a lot accomplished. And no, just for all you later, I know, oh, they're going to do something sexy with the whipped cream? No, we're going to eat it. <laughs> it's it's no points on our diet, we're going to eat it. Uh, actually, I didn't wear my cowboy hat today, I was going to wear my hat, but it literally is still drying from the concert. Like, we went to Garth Brooks last night. I have seen thousands of bands. I have spent thousands of dollars going to concerts and i said that this was the last big one i wanted to go to because i hadn't seen garth i missed him i wanted to see him for 30 years i can honestly tell you after last night i will absolutely see him every time i can get to because it was fucking the shit it was fucking awesome it was worth every penny that i paid for okay so now i'm gonna put you on the spot why why did you cry during the dance why would you bring that up <laughs> Because all of a sudden you just start tearing uh, up. You know, I, I'll tell you. Okay, I didn't so, mean to ask you all day. Okay, so, I just keep so the, the reason why, and honestly, it, it actually has to do with this to a degree, with what, we're, what we do. Okay. okay, so those of you who don't know, we live in Lincoln, Nebraska. I don't give a fuck if you don't know where we live. We have no, guns. Yeah. We, we have guns. Don't have show guns, up your fucking stalkers. Multiple, yeah. Anyways, uh, no, so, but, so the concert was at Ab Memorial Stadium, and there is a huge degree of irony because. You know, obviously, we met at the university. Yeah, we did. Right? Uh, that was my first exposure to Garth Brooks. That was 91, so that was my first exposure. You have to date us? Yeah, like no that. shit. Okay. To Garth Brooks. And and there's a there's a, a thing with the... Like, when we were younger, and a lot of people, not, not, not everybody knows our backstory. So we're, we're a long-term together couple and a long-term married couple. We've been together 29 years. We've been married 27. So, but when we first met... We hadn't known each other very long when, when you got knocked out. No, two months. Yeah. So let's suffice it to say that we went through some, like, uh, some challenges early on. Okay? So the reality of it is, is, as I look where we're at now in our life, right, we're still together almost 30 years later. We, the, with the things that we do, like the podcast and, and our groups and... Basically, our business is doing extremely well and growing, and it's it's there was just the the reality of this all hitting the fact that you know you're sitting there and and, and finally getting to see Garth was a, was a big part of it also, you know, and and just seeing where we're at, and then this weekend overall was like emotional as fuck because obviously you know we really we believe in uh, deeper than just like our Facebook groups, which they're listening tonight, we record for our secret secret Facebook group, Cas Bank. Shh, don't tell the others. Uh, they're family, and we talk about that all the time. Mm -hmm. So there were literally hundreds of our group at the concert last night around. Cause there's pictures, and that was really fucking cool. But yesterday, so Saturday in the day, we also basically did a goodbye phone call. Yeah, yeah. To, to one of our to one of our very good friends who who has uh, ALS and you know as we're doing this around my birthday you know we he was at a lot of my birthday things and we spent a lot of time so it was like this combination of of like it, there reaches this point where you have to realize you're willing to admit that it's okay not to be okay mm -hmm. right and so you know, we got a lot of really badass, cool things going on in our lives right now, especially with this. And there's a lot of parts, and, and, and we're okay. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of parts of, my, of our lives and my life right now, I'm not okay. And I think that this weekend, like, it it hit. Like, last weekend was crazy summer nights, and the, 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 there's a level of expectation that people have about whatever our, our event should be and a level that we expect what our event should be mm -hmm. because we are a family, right? So, and that drains. It takes a lot out of it. And it, it's, it's something we love doing. Don't get us wrong. We love doing it. But, but like, that, that drains me 
a, we needed a, more than a, a week lot. to recoup. Yeah, and I didn't take my week off, so we started getting ready for the next one. And with stuff that's happened in my own life, you know, we 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 lost a lot of family and friends in the last year, like lost by like death. And uh, so when you get this huge tidal wave of good and and bad, and, and I'm someone, so I'm a control freak. Like <gasps> I know what. I'm a huge control freak, and I'm someone who does not like to show. Uh, I, I only want you to see what I want you to see, mm -hmm. pretty much. And the reality is, is that when the the when the dance started to play last night, because I read an article about about it and, and what he you know what he meant by it, and it wasn't just about it, like love gone wrong type thing, you know. <clears throat> when that played last night, it was this. Uh, it was a huge. All those emotions crashed together at one time. It was like, in my world, in my brain, it was at the very, you know, when you when you look down at a waterfall, and a waterfall is is violent, mm -hmm. right? And everybody, most people look at it and they see it's pretty, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, right? There's pretty rainbows and it's whatever. But if you really think about it, there's this roar, a deafening roar of the water. And when it, when it, it crashes at the bottom, it's an explosion, it's violent. It's turbulent. It's all those things. So there's beauty in violence. There's beauty in that, in chaos. And so for some reason, it hit me a couple other times during the night. The reality, I'd waited so long to see him. And and thinking back to the memories, when he's playing Rodeo and some of the other songs that we, when we were first together, you know, that, were, that are in our life, it was there. But when it hit the dance, it was like all of a sudden... I reached the bottom of that waterfall last night and and that explosion and that that chaos of everything just like imploded on me at one time and and the the, the i'm not one to show shit ever but if you've noticed for those that were out at crazy summer nights when we got it to thank people on the saturday night dinner at dinner like the emotion got me and that's not normally me at all uh, and uh, and so I, I've been fighting that a lot, mm -hmm. and I couldn't fight it anymore, you know. And so, uh, do I regret it? No. Uh, you know, it's just uh, we we talk about shit because it's the truth, and, and we talk about crazy truth, and we talk about this stuff, and we go places with this show that other people don't. And and the reason the only reason I'm sharing this on this is because. These are all things that real life plays into your swinging world. Like that's the part that people go, "Oh, well, no, it's separate." No, it's not, because it's it's all it's all part of of who we are and who you are. So, I say this to some of the different women that have that have come through the years at times when I have not been able to perform. I'm the type of person, although I may not show the emotion, the emotion has a very a very huge effect on on my, my sexual performance. It has a very huge uh, effect on every part of who I am. So there are times it's, it's not I'm not interested, it's not I don't want to. It's that the emotions, the emotion, that emotion overpowers the emotion, the, the sexual drive. Mm -hmm. That's who I am. And guess what? That's going to happen. And that's why we do this show. Because there's going to be things that are going to affect your sex life in your swinging life that you need to understand and it's not always just you know oh well, you're not horny or well, what what the fuck or you just got too drunk no there's other things in life so that's the reality of it so there you go so now hopefully of course so that was before the the couple next to us got in fight. yeah then the couple next to us got this huge fucking fight okay initially when she was started talking to us i'm like ooh they're hitting I know. I was like, hello. And then that, of course, we and went to. And then they got into a and fight. Then, and then I was like, I'm, am I going to have to interject here? So he, I did. almost did because yeah. what did I did nothing wrong? Uh, and yeah. they're like overpowering the concert. It's like, shut like, up. I waited 30 years to listen to Garth, <laughs> not 30 years to listen to some random couple fight next to us. So, yeah. So there you go. <laughs> that was funny. And right now, everybody's going, Garth Brooks is out there going, he didn't even know he was getting going to fucking plug out for uh, on our show. But, you know, there it is. Hey, hopefully, here's what's so funny. I can sell this because like, there's like 40 people on this different show there on our page, so no one else will know anything I just said. But it, but it is true. So there you go. Huh? Is that for At least you're helping. Yeah, no, <laughs> I don't fuck. Aren't you Look, happy I called I, you on that? I've been meaning to yeah. ask you all day long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Thanks for picking now, Pumpkin. Appreciate it. Uh, God. Well, you brought up the concert. It uh, sparked no, up a little awesome. light bulb in my head. And I went, oh, wait. I was going to yeah, ask you that. So why not awesome. just wait and ask you while you were talking? Yeah, that's perfect. And you see who called right. What did I say who called right when I was on the phone? Oh, did your mom yeah, call? Yeah, absolutely. Jesus. That's why I put it in an airplane mode that okay. no one can call my ass. Fuck. <laughs> Part of the course. <laughs> All right. So. Now that we've delved into Cole's personal psyche, hey, yeah, great news, we've got to watch Cole have a meltdown here, yeah, perfect news. Hey, there's other people that say that they cry during the song, too. Oh, yeah, and, and that's just it. It's that, that's You're not the only one. No, imagine that. I mean, I didn't cry. I, well, of course you did. Fuck off, man. Seriously. That personality stayed quiet. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's the other shit. one came to party. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Awesome. The slut game, but the fucking emotional one stayed home. Good, neat. Okay, let's go well, on. Which with, one would you rather have, the emotional one or the slut one? What the fuck do one? I care? Obviously, I can't control myself. We'll be fine. All right, well, let's. Jesus. Well, you know what a great show, and it's been a, <laughs> it's been a good evening. I think I'm gonna go and go. I'll let you. I'll give you the questions. Oh, stop it. Take your take your away. No. They actually want to hear your opinions. Well, they get to hear my opinions. No, all of it, like nonstop. Okay, you read it, and I'll give my... Uh, okay. No, because I'm going to read it, and I'm going to leave it until you go. I think it'll be unabated. Huh. Go for it. Fine. I'll bump my ass there. No, because you got to be able to be live, and I can't call my mom, and I can't take your phone. Okay. All right, so... Darn it. Actually, so this... this. Okay, so the question, the first question we're going to do, I picked this question because, uh, specifically, I feel like it is a tremendous opportunity for a learning lesson here. Okay, and because I, I know in my own gut when I read this question what the, the, the writers were hoping for, and I wasn't going to let them get off the hook that easy. Oh. Okay. Can't. Because I because I think there's more, in my opinion, there's more to it than that. Okay. So, uh, we are big fans of the show. Thank you very much. Hope you still are after this. <laughs> uh, we wanted to ask you how to handle an embarrassing situation. We were having a play date with another couple. Uh, we are same room, full swap. And we were all naked and playing, okay? My husband was having sex doggy style with her, that'd be the other wife. By accident, he hit the wrong hole. She moaned and said, pound it hard. So he did. Her husband was fishing with me, looked over and realized they were having anal sex and lost it. It was against their rules which we had discussed. Uh, this caused a huge fight between them and the husband uh, freaked out and asked us to leave and now they won't talk to us and we don't even know why they're mad at us. Help, wrong hole in Wisconsin. So. How do they not know what they did wrong? Well, and, and that's why I wanted to read this because this is, When I reached out to them, okay, because I and I fished, I fished, but I didn't, I didn't give away my viewpoint on it, right? Right. Because I wanted to understand their thought process. Their thought process is since she said pound it harder, it was her fault. She should have said stop. Because he, it went in the wrong hole. He stopped, and she said pound it harder. So he, instead of going sorry, he he had just stopped, and then he just did he know he, he was in the wrong right. hole? He knew he was in the wrong hole. Okay. He he's now here's what's funny. The first time when the first email I got, well he didn't realize it, but then I was like, well yeah he did, he did actually know. And then we tried to go to the whole thing of like, well they've been drinking, and and then we were trying to bounce around the fact. But their logic, their thought process is that the issue is between the other husband and wife, that it's her fault she broke the rules, and then also that. Actually, they they somewhat feel like that was wrong that they got thrown out and that they're even vaguely pissed at them in any way, shape, or form. They feel like they should be the ones to be pissed because the other couple fucked up is, is their thought process. There's only one person out of all that that should be pissed off. Who's that? The wife. Which wife? The innocent one. The innocent wife. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. I agree with that. The husband-ish. I... You, okay, go ahead. Go ahead with your uh, thought. Of the one, uh, oopsie over here. Uh huh. These over here. Uh, right. They should be upset. Right. Right. Wife did nothing wrong. Husband was upset. Right. 
but everybody knew the rules. Right, and and I reemphasize that because that was the, I said. So you guys had talked about the rules, and and yes, one of the rules was no anal sex, but they didn't do anal. So, and to a degree, I agree that off the bat, look, she, if, if that's your rule, you should say that. No, stop. Whatever. Look, hitting the wrong hole happens. <laughs> There's people floating around right now that can tell stories about me being drunk and doing that. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. But by the same token, if if he knew, one, I, it, it blows my mind. I, I get getting caught up in the moment. Okay. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, you that why? If that Once was, you're crossing your somebody's lines, you stop. Even if she says pound it, you can still turn to the husband and say, "Are you okay with this?" And set your rules. Yeah, yeah, or at least say, at least say to her, "Wait, a, wait a minute! I thought this was against the rules." Right. Out of out of, I mean, because here's the deal: if she's like fucking revved up about it, you can pull it out and put it back in if she's really revved up about it. Mm-hmm. But to 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 not, but to try to act like it's it's. My thing is, is I'm really questioning how much of an accident it was. I mean, I guess it might have been an accident, but we had, there was no hesitation to take full advantage of that situation. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I don't understand if that's a, a now, there's hard There's plenty rule. of times that a guy's tried to go from behind and trust me, it was a strap on his freaking hard. I can't <laughs> even imagine. Well, I can't imagine because I've tried it and went, oh, wow, oh, okay. It's way lower than I thought. Anyway. So, when a guy, I've had many guys, not many, but you know I mean. <laughs> Dicks everywhere, dicks. More time than not, a right. guy is like, inch towards my ass because you know where it's at. You know what it feels like. Right. And then you go, oop, wrong hole. Right, exactly. And that's always my response. I don't give a shit who. Right, yeah, to, to get it all the way in, if, if you are adamant that that is off limits, mm-hmm. adamant, something's going to be said, should should be said. It just, it, what it makes me wonder is, did the, did the, the, the gal that, that was taking a doggy out, was it, how much of it was an accident on her part, how much of it was caught up in the moment how much of it there's, there's a lot of gray area in this to me I, you know and so it, it's I just sit there and I go okay one should you blow up and cause a scene no I mean I, but you know the the thing is is if you break if you and I are out and, and just, I'm only saying you in this case because it was the girl that broke the rule right. and you break a rule that is a big thing with us that discussion needs to take place between private. between you and I on the way and it's going to. We've had those things where we had a miscommunication, and that fight took place in the car right home. It didn't take place in front of everybody else. Mm-hmm. No one else needs to be a part of that situation because it was our rule that was broke. It was our miscommunication. It was our whatever. It's our problem to deal with. So I can understand being upset, but I, it's not okay to, to, to fucking make everybody else in the room feel uncomfortable. But I think it's asinine to to be surprised that the husband is a little bit pissed at, 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 at the husband that accidentally put it in when you had just discussed those rules. Mm-hmm. Look, if, if they hadn't said, if they had never said there was any rule against, against anal, mm-hmm. and it happened, and... and She's like fucking pounded hard, and you're fucking going to town. I would have kept going to town if there had been no discussion. Yep. And then he flips out. Well, that's on him. Wait a minute. We didn't know. I can't read your fucking mind. Right. But if you had specifically discussed it, and and I asked the gal, I said, how many rules do they have? Because, again, trying to play devil's advocate here. You know, some couples have, like, pages about, like, Sheldon so Cooper number of pages. It. Right. Okay, and you were just, like, overwhelmed because there was 8,000 fucking, 8,000 fucking pages. No, they had like five. I mean, you know, there it's just you know basic rules, protection. Uh, you know, no anal. You know, couldn't no coming in 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 her mouth. 
So it wasn't like these rules where there were tons and tons of rules. So they wouldn't know. Mm-hmm. And it really is shitty. So, okay, so I'm fucking uh, missing comments all over the place here. Uh, da, 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 da. There, Beth put, there is no way she didn't know he was in her butt. You know when there's something up your bum. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, there's no doubt in my mind she knew it. Yeah. She knew it. She just re- didn't say anything. Yeah, she, yeah, she just didn't say anything. Amy put, oh my God, those books of rules. Yeah, and, and, and I mean, if that was the case, then I could understand, because some, some couples, not just new couples, they have all these rules, but then they don't prioritize them. I, I can tell you in, in the years of, of, in the years of being in the lifestyle, we're almost 11 years, most of the time when, when anal comes up, it's, it's usually, usually, no anal it's it's usually a, a pretty hard rule. Mm-hmm. And it's usually like one of the first one. It's not like, you know, we go through this, no kissing, don't touch your forearm. Hey, no licking of the knees. <laughs> you know, let's get going. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. By the way, don't fuck her in the ass. No, that's not how that works. It's usually like our biggest rule is no anal. Or, you know, I mean, now granted, everybody's different. We're not trying to pigeonhole anybody, but... It's not like that's a small thing. Mm-mm. Now, the question I fucked up, because the question I should have asked them, and I wish I would have, was, is anal against their rules? Mm. Because, like, for, with us, it is. Right? I'm mean, not anymore. Now, it's like, well, if you, if you want to, I don't care. Go ahead. You know, whatever. I just don't. Yeah. But, I mean, the, the thing is, but, you know, because I would, I would put, I would bet money. I would bet fucking money that anal's probably against their rules too. But, you know, it didn't affect them, so they didn't care. I, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. You know, know, to a degree, though, if she says pound it harder or pound it hard or whatever she said, yeah. go, then speed that's, racer, go. That could be giving permission. Granted, the husband didn't know. But maybe that was like one of their silent rules. If it's okay, then let them. Well, I don't know. <laughs> and then here's the thing: she didn't do a real good job of being stealthy about it. If she didn't want him to find out. Yelping, pounded harder, probably to draw attention to it. Is probably not the best way to no. keep it. I, I just look to the to wrong home in Wisconsin. You need to understand that you had a part to play in this. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you, you you cannot just take this whole thing and put it off on the the, the other couple. Yes, the dude should have kept that. I mean, granted, we all get pissed off, and you get pissed off, and you lose it sometimes. But yeah, okay, and it, I, it doesn't surprise me he asked him to leave because, to be honest with you, I probably would have asked the other mm-hmm. couple to leave because I probably would have said, "Dude, we just talked about this." Mm-hmm. What? But she said, but we just talked about this. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, what? I, I would have been, I never would have played with him again. The, the trust factor would have been Yeah, but there. then you can't trust him to follow through with any of the rules. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just, it, I don't know. It, but you can't, it, people, the way this shit works, it takes two to tango. It, it seriously is. Or two or in life, so three, four, five, ten, how many, whatever large number it's more than one person it's very very rarely is a situation all one person's fault Mm -hmm. there's usually things there's enough blame to go around there's at least opportunity to look at how something was dealt with and and find ways to improve one right so here's my question to you what should they do now what should what should wrong hole what should wrong hole in Wisconsin do now besides work on his target brackets thank you thank you very much well, for your and admit your mistake <laughs> see I think so too I, I think you sent him a note because y- you realized whatever case may be <laughs> that you were in the wrong hole even if you inserted it you could jump back and go oh my god I'm so sorry that's one of your rules that feels different. But you stuck it in and she goes, no, bang it harder. And you just kept going. <laughs> well, she must have changed her rules. <laughs> I mean, the wife is really to blame on a lot of it. Because well, she, she let it happen. Because you know 
yeah, it's like that's it. You you know, and yes, it, you don't even have to insert it. You know where the dick tip is touching you that it's not going to go in the right hole. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. You feel it? Wait. You go ah ah ah. Yeah, wait. Nope. 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 Well, we're well, we're well, and that's. I, what's funny now is that the 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 couple that the sticky <laughs> now uh, <laughs> are almost getting defensive about it. And the thing is, the best thing to do is say you're sorry and move on, or just drop it, let it let it go, and yeah. learn and fucking learn from it. The other couple, the sticker <laughs> or the receiver, whatever, you guys need to sit and talk about your rules. Uh, this is this is a case study example. This is a perfect example of what happens when you're when a couple is not on the same page. Th this kind of shit right here is the exact reason why a lot of couples play alone. Let's see, Amy, absolutely the wife is to blame. Yeah, I, well, yeah, she she absolutely the 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 wife the the sticker the one that that got poked. She absolutely put everybody up, put that whole situation. Mm -hmm. Play when she could have and should have quickly immediately stopped it. Mm -hmm. at, at, no matter what, should have stopped it right then and there, and by not created this whole fucking issue. Mm -hmm. But oh my god, if this doesn't teach you why you have to communicate and make sure you are on the same fucking page, because obviously, wifey poo likes anal sex. Apparently. Apparently likes it. Well, you know what? You might want to talk about that before there's a dick in there. Because that can create a problem. Just fucking say it. You know, we got all kinds of good comments going through there. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, we had a situation, Shannon, we had a situation a bit like this. No anal was discussed prior to play. Then during play, male party attempted anal uh, with Leanne. She stopped it and play continued and it was discussed later. Uh, Leanne waved me off that she had it handled. Okay, and there again, there's there's a good example. She had it handled. She took care of it. Mm -hmm. But as you said, there hadn't been it hadn't been discussed initially. I, I have to tell you, to me as a guy, I would never just make the assumption that, you know, it's like there's a lot of things. It's like okay, yep, that's probably good to go. The butt just is one of those things that it's not to me. That that's that's a that's a real permission thing. But again, there was the proper way to handle it. it was discussed later. Mm -hmm. She took care of it. It was discussed later. No, no problem. Uh, Jason found out after the divorce, and my ex ignored that no anal rule fairly regularly, and was apparently one of the last ones at the party to find out about it. And that oh, sucks. That sucks ass. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks ass. Well, that sucks ass. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We're all week. No, I, but I mean that 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 uh, and and there again, and I'm going to touch on another part of that in a second. Why this part of the big thing. Um, Mike agreed with Amanda. The wife bears responsibility here. Here, the poker also should have honored the rules since he knew them ahead of time. Granted, though, if she said to go for it, uh, but should have done honorable thing. Exactly. And this and, and Mike, you're exactly right as well. Because when she said go ahead and go, or you know, hard or whatever the fuck, yeah. he should have turned to the husband and said, "She says it's okay. Is that okay?" Right. I, that and that that's where this is where the, we're supposed to be adults. And an adult would turn and say, is this okay? Or confirm with her or with him or with both. A little kid would be like, well, the sitter said I could have candy. Fuck it. Yink. And just go for it. I mean, that that's immature on his part. to like, well, I know what the rule is, but she said fucking rip that shit up. But sometimes you want to trust what they're telling you. Well, when it, when it comes to, I'm too trusting. When it comes to sticking your dick places... You don't trust. It's always better to, to check. This is like cutting a board. Measure, measure twice, cut once. Okay? Fuck, fuck, you know, ask twice, fuck once. It's, you will never go wrong confirming. It's like, oh, you can come in, come in my mouth. And before we say, okay, so you're saying it's all right for me to come in your mouth. Yes, that will never do you wrong. But if you misheard it and you fucking blow a load down her fucking throat or his throat, whatever the case may be, and you don't have permission, you have a problem. Measure twice, cut once. Ask twice, fuck once. That's always gonna be the that's always gonna be the rule of thumb. And yes, the honorable thing, that's that's huge part of it. Uh here is yeah, and Amy has it right, absolutely should be adult. Unfortunately not always the case uh when fucking is involved. 
here, here, here's, a, here's, a, here's another uh, part. And I'm not a doctor, nor do I play one on TV. Just, just saying. But uh, I know that there can be concerns about cleanliness going from, from ass to badge, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, protection plays into it. There, there, look, there's a lot of things that can go go into that that whole process that again that's why communication is so important mm -hmm. you know and and i think that it it's <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> the poop wow. emoji. <laughs> yeah awesome uh, it's just it's just one of those things so i you know the assumption god don't assume don't assume but at, again so yeah and and, and uh and it's not totally like headboards, but it, which is true. But ask twice. You will never, never go. You know why most people don't want to ask twice? Seriously? Because they're afraid they're not going to get the answer they want. True. And it's like, yeah, but I want to. But if she, if she or he says no, then the consent thing plays in. Because what do we know about consent? Yes means yes all the way up to. It doesn't matter where you're at in the process when the word stop or no comes in. That stops and ends it. And by asking to some people, by asking, well, you, you might not get the answer you want to hear. Well, that's True. the thing. It's called being a person and, and human and not being a fucking, you know, tool bag. That's how that works. Very true. So, did that there? That was pretty soon. Mm -hmm. uh, I might have one. Oh, have yeah. Oh, yeah. Beyond. Fuck, son of a bitch. Okay, so hold on. I'll be right back. Oh my god. No, nah, I'm not gonna do the voice that <laughs> So hey, guess what though? We got some cool shit happening. Go so ahead. make sure make sure you check out fullswapshop.com. That's badass shit. But we've got a brand new uh there's a brand new site coming to town. Ching ching ching. Doo -doo 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 -doo. No. <laughs> Anyways, it uh, a brand new site coming up. It, it is flipoffgear.com. It's gonna be up in the next week or so. Uh that is where you can get it's not a swinger site, but that is where you can get all of your flip off gear that's right uh so some of the, the, the there's there's a pull out the medical things you can do customized things on there so you can do customized shirts uh mugs whatever and it's all obviously with the middle finger starting off so flipoffgear.com coming soon and also don't forget to check all of our shit out uh and a lot of other people's shit out at fullswapradio.com uh, there's an app for that you know and you can uh, check our show's plays at 5 and 11, 5 p.m. and 11 p.m. Central Standard Time every Monday. Their shows are in 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Check it out. Uh, there won't be shows next week. I don't get my shit done. Just saying. Just kidding. <laughs> and we're back. All right. There we go. Hey, you need to get your shit together. Yeah, no shit. One for the pooper. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, wow. We have covered the, the emotional gauntlet on this show, haven't we? No, I'm waiting for you to hit up what happened Friday. Friday, 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 Friday. After you changed the light bulb? No, fuck, I almost died. It was horrible. <laughs> so, so I changed, so our, in, in our house, the ceilings are 17 feet tall. I don't fucking know why. Uh, anyways, and so there's a light bulb in our bedroom and it's above our bed. And so even standing on the bed, I need a little reachy grabby thing to change it, mm -hmm. right? So I'm changing. It was one of those those pigtail ones, you know, whatever. It broke. I tip it broke. I thought I had it all cleaned off. No worries. I'm like, okay, great. So Saturday morning, uh, Saturday morning, yeah, Saturday morning, yeah. Uh, you, she's in there laying around taking pictures and doing what she does, being naked. Because I lay around things. taking pictures. Yeah, she rolls around, fucking whatever. And uh, so I get all frisky and hop on her, and we're fucking, we're going to town. E -e 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 -e. And all of a sudden, look down because she's like, "What's wet on me?" And it's, well, it wasn't me yet. And uh, it, it, there was a giant pool of blood on the bed. And we're looking around, going, "I'm like, what the fuck? She doesn't have those anymore." We well, know it's not that. And uh, I get up, and there's blood running down my leg. And I had managed to cut one because I'm old, so I had one of those little capillaries of blood vessels popping out. And I managed to cut it. Perfectly, it was bleeding out, so she almost killed me. I almost died there in sex before. I didn't kill you. What, what were you gonna do? Drown from all the blood? Maybe I got blood out for Christ's sake. That was really gross. I have something room my bedspread though. Probably did. <laughs> Get another one. Yeah, that's, it was hot. Yeah, that's awesome. God it's old. Yeah. Needed an upgrade. Not me. 
Why yeah, too? I, my skin <laughs> bleeds a little glass. It was just deal. blood running. You wipe it up, just run. Yeah, like I was gushing all over the fucking place. So, all right. Yeah, the gauntlet of emotion. At least we know that you're alive. <laughs> yeah, no, she's alive. She cried a feast of friends. By the way, I will. Uh, whoever sends in gets that. Uh, we'll do a shirt for that. So we'll do it again. Say again. Alive, she cried a feast of friends. You say that all the time. I do, because it's one of my idols. Anywho, all right. So, how, question number two, and go. Uh, yeah. No, no we I did didn't. Not, I didn't finish. <laughs> no, I was bleeding. What do you mean, Mike? Did he? Uh, they asked me if I finished. No, I was bleeding out for Christ's sake. I almost died. It was. It was like. It was right, like period sex, but it was out of my leg. It was oh, weird. that was gross. <laughs> um, it was right above his knee. Yeah, yeah. And and it just kind of like stopped everything because it well, I had my hip covered in blood, and I'm just like, okay, this is gross. But you did. I I helped you along to After, finish. Like. After Half hour later, like, after we bandaged me well. up and got me to quit bleeding, <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, that was hot. Yeah. That's why we don't fuck on Saturday mornings. All right. What question. Does Saturday morning que- have to do with it? Question two. Yeah, I ain't changing more light bulbs. Uh, okay. Hey. 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 House party question. I thought this was a really good question, actually. Uh, we love house parties, and we're excited to do our first one. That's awesome. The question is, we well, the question we have is about numbers. Uh, we made a list of who we want to invite, but we have an extra guy. Not everyone has met each other, uh, but we are not concerned about behavior, but rather if having an extra guy guy would be awkward or uncomfortable. By the same token, we don't want to leave our friend out. Crazy times in the big house. I actually thought that was kind of an interesting question because, okay, so... Let's, in interest of full disclosure, we have put on hotel takeovers, we've put on house, uh, we've put on campground takeovers, we've put on every type of party except a house party. A house party. We've never put on a house party. Uh, a paying party. So, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, so it's like, okay, you know, that is an interesting question. As I read it, what really, what really. I thought was interesting was I didn't think about it before but it's like having the single guy there and when we've been to house parties it's always been couples, couples paired up so the girls are already going Amy and Hillary are already going extra guys come in handy Hillary agrees well but, you can have your threesome okay right now that's two ladies saying that which I get <laughs> that okay now no no in full disclosure I, I'm the type of guy no, you're I, fine think, with I it. think it's I think it's fucking hot fucking me with another guy or, or having a threesome like that doesn't phase me in the least. Not every guy is. No. Your your boyfriend's a perfect example. Right. Well, I mean seriously, right. I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not ribbing. It's just it's it's the 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 whole thing there. So, but I can see how, you know, yes, if you have people there that are interested in threesomes or whatnot, rock on. But it. We've been to house parties though. Yes. That had extra guys. Yes. And I don't remember seeing anybody left out by any stretch. No, and and, and uh, I mean I don't I don't think anybody. I I I could see I don't think anybody necessarily is going to leave anybody out, but uh, now here's a, here's an interesting question. Okay, so Mike said an extra guy should not be a problem. Make sure everyone knows and he understands his role exactly. Uh, and then Patrick, but I would say get the other couple's approval first. True. And 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 now that's an interesting thing because here's the thing: if if you had hypothetically some couples that were really, there are some couples that are very much opposed to singles, mm-hmm. uh, whether it be single males or single females. True. Uh, granted, and so I think there's a value of of sharing or, or, or letting the information be known. And I think how you introduce is a really big part of it. Mm-hmm. That this is our good friend. So that people know that, hey, this is, you know, just like you're our friends, he's our friend also. Right. So that everybody knows, hey, it's all cool. I, I think that it's also an advantage if you w- make sure that, you know, and I, I'm not a big one in games or icebreakers. Right. Yeah, I, I really don't care. Because usually... We walk in, I'm scoping out who, where I want to go first. Okay, and it's he a has buffet. a good point. What's that? Not just threesome, penis can be funny and stop working after a few fucks. 
Uh, yes. So he'd be a backup dick. Right. Put me in codes, I'm bonerized. But, 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 which is very true, but by the same time, you don't want him to just feel like he only gets to come in if somebody else goes down with an injury. How many parties have you been to, though, where there, where there isn't someone that's looking for an, an extra male? Uh, true. I, I, I mean, So I don't think it's that he'd be left out because, well, if anything, he has the host. Well, and, and that's just it. And, and I think, and I, and I think, uh, I also, I also think that it's all, presentation goes a long way. And I think if the host does stunt cock, stunt cock, uh, I also stunt dick, stunt cock. I also think if how you introduce them is going to be very important. Yeah. The, uh, this is where okay. So a good thing with this question is where it comes up with remember your your job. Even though a house party, one of the we were just talking about this on our walk today, how with a house party it's kind of awesome because you still can get to play. You still get to. You still get to be a part of it. Like sometimes with our big events, we're running around, we don't get to hook up, right? Mm -hmm. But with the house party, you're supposed to still get to hook up. That's part of the whole cool part of it. But I think if you if you introduce, you you keep in mind that people can have a predeceived, preconceived, excuse me, notion of what a single female or male is like, or or can be as the title single. If you introduce them so that they understand hey, no, they're cool, you know. I think that that goes a long, long way, you know. If you know a couple has an issue with a single, don't necessarily invite that couple. That's, that's, really, your attendees. that's really good, too. And that's that's a really great point also. That's a, that's a great point also. Is it, As a house, if you're putting a house party, you should, you should, you know, know. What, what's that? What, who, who complain about being on the bench as long as they get a hit a home run in the end? <laughs> well, no, one, no one's going to complain. If, but if, what if nobody? What if nobody goes down? We got it all done. Game over. Yeah, thanks, thanks for coming. You know, here's the, the clean up the condoms. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. No, I mean I, I get it. Part of this is don't overthink it. I mean, for one, is really part mm -hmm. of it. But I have to give them there's, kudos. There's, there's a way to invite the single male saying there's a chance you might not get to play. Or let it be known. Well, I'm going to tell you to fucking pound sand because I'm not going to go sit there and watch other people fuck. Look, I can I can grab my phone and watch porn for five minutes, jack off, and go to the fucking bar or some shit. Some people like to walk. Only for so long. I don't want to sit there for four hours just slowly stroking and waiting to fucking blow a nut. I only have one of them. I don't want to blow it up. Anticipation. Blue nut. Nothing sexier than blue ball. Excuse me, is that a blue ball? Yes, it's icy. That, here's, here's the thing. To a degree, don't overthink it, right? But I, I think it's cool. I think it is cool that they are, are thinking about it, at least. Mm -hmm. Because that tells me that they're putting, they want to make sure that their party is a success. Do you remember one time we had a question on, on about house parties? And the big question was about snacks. Yeah. Their, their, their number one concern was about fucking snacks. Yeah. Okay? And, and, and look, it's not That's to take... a long time ago. Yeah, this, this is like three years ago. It's not to take away that snacks aren't important at a house party. Because, you know, who doesn't want a good snack? But if you had to, if you had to prioritize between the, the couple that's worried about making sure everybody feels comfortable and included in the sex versus making sure the snacks are right... Which is the better house party? I'm going with the one. <laughs> you can't do it when you're hungry. I'm going with the one that actually gives a fuck more about. Yes. About making sure everybody's comfortable with the sex. Hillary has a good point. Would they put this much thought in dividing a single female? <laughs> okay, see, this is where Cole can make all kinds of fucking jokes and. At which point he gets all kinds of hate mail. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to say honestly, probably not. And part of the reason why... <laughs> uh, excuse me. Part of the reason why they wouldn't is because the overall consensus of a single... Of a female being there is way different. Mm -hmm. Look, there, this is a fucking pathetic, sad reality of the lifestyle, mm -hmm. right? It is... If there's an extra chick there, if she'll eat pussy... Well, that's hot and sexy as fuck. And everybody's going to be like all on board. Have a bi guy go by himself to a party. Yeah. And let it be known he's bi. 
half the dudes in there are going to be like, oh, well, you're, you're, you're not touching my dick. Well, he knows that. He's not stupid. He's bi, not retarded. There's a difference. You know, so so you wouldn't have to put as much thought in it with, with a female, which you should because we all know that a female can come in and just be fucking screaming ass bat shit crazy and and you know she uses the power of the badge to come in and fucking <laughs> suck in everybody's fucking soul and leave all fucking no I'm just kidding see now I'm still gonna get hate mail see how that works out so is that why I'm invited <laughs> no but I mean that but that it's cause you're fun uh, just saying uh, uh, the thing is is kudos don't overthink it but kudos for at least fucking Somewhat given a little bit of thought. Is there any good comments? You're not even looking at me anymore. Uh, like, you're but what about drama? Um, From which ones? <laughs> uh, sucks. I was that guy. I've always had great snacks at parties. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, and snacks are important. Now, let's not, I don't want, there, this cannot be misconstrued. This is very important. Don't be the one at the house party that has just like moldy bread and some fucking pieces of cheese. You want decent snacks, okay? Spend a little bit of Jack and get some decent snacks. We've been to house parties didn't have any little, snacks. Little Smokies, some crackers and cheese, some shit to offset the booze. Go ahead and get the good Coke. Get like the name brand sodas <laughs> for mixers, okay? Don't go. Don't go fucking getting the fucking. Don't save a few bucks and get the fucking. You know. Don't be in high maintenance. No bitch. names. Look, spend the buck eighty nine for that says Coke or Pepsi for the mixer <laughs> versus the fucking sixty eight cents that says cola. Okay? Because it does make a difference. So we get you cheese snack, balls. Snack snack yeah, cheese balls. Snacks Deviled are important. Eggs. No double day. Snack Shasta. Snacks are important. Ooh, Shasta, okay. Shasta young. Because look, here's the deal. If there's nothing good to eat between 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 rounds. Well, that could be a party killer. I, this is more important to me now than it used to be. Because it used to be between times because I smoked. So it used to be, if I can go have a cigarette, I didn't care about food. I just wanted to have a cocktail and then go have a cigarette. Pretty much as long as I have a cocktail, I'm probably pretty good anyways. But now, instead of when we're going to have a smoke, I'm going to go cruising through the fucking kitchen and fucking, you know. So, I mean, a nice cheese ball is kind of good. Just saying, like, the cheese spread thing. I mean, olives on the stick. Ooh, or those little fucking uh, the the pickles and wrapped in the cheese or wrapped in the ham with the 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 uh, What's cream in the cheese broccoli. You know, know? those those are I pretty good. I need the broccoli. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Yeah, so I mean, you know, just don't don't get all chintzy on us or anything. But I mean, you know, <laughs> what? There's nothing wrong with that. We want to make sure protein shakes. Yeah, protein shakes. Yeah, I hey, mean, you now we've been to a house party with a pastry chef. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's some Had to work that shit off. No shit. So I mean, you know, but remember keep it light <laughs> and keep it you know, hungry. And, and and like I say, just you yes, know Yes, I love the pickle things too. Yeah, those are fucking those mm. are the, those are those are a good fuck food. I mean I don't tell my mom that she makes it for the holidays, but <laughs> they, they really they really are. So keep that and if you get like oh jello and shit, yeah, you know, if you have something you have cool web, then you can use that for multiple things. Yeah, I want that see everybody <laughs> does. That's that's we we have a good one. I want finger jello. If you invite us to a house party, it's been years, but I used to love finger jello. So I would Alcoholic love Alcoholic or not. Oh no, see now there's a great idea. If I could pick up rum with my fingers, well I'll be damned. Wouldn't so that just make extra plain gelatin in with it? I think. I really haven't tried it. Okay, so this week at the Snodgrass household, <laughs> up next is, I, man, if I could walk around with fucking eat Fuck shit. food made Hillary spit out beer. <laughs> you know what? That's, you know, all right, so I, I want everybody to send in, and we'll read this on the air. We want people to send in your favorite fuck snacks. Or uh, your go-to fuck food. Yeah, your go-to fuck food. Not that you'll fuck, not like, <laughs> but like, no, no, no. To eat it, to after. Eat, to between. eat or during. If you could eat and fuck at the same time, God love you. I, and I, wanted, I could. I just choose not look, to. Look, I want it to be duly known. And if you don't believe me, you can sample it and try. I can, I can fuck, especially if you get a uh, doggy. I can fuck and still drink rum and coke and not spill a drop. I, pr I promise you, I will not spill a fucking. Didn't we drop. try that one time? Yep. Uh, and I can do that. It used to be a beer, but anybody can do that with a beer because the beer's only got a little hole. But 
Reese's can... pieces are my hotel party <laughs> snack. Fuck yeah, Amy. You didn't bring it in. Wait a minute. No. So, <laughs> but yeah, so if you want to try it, if you want to try it, we can uh, call me up. We'll set up a time to fuck. We'll have rum. We'll have coke. You we'll know have, you're we'll running out of time, right? Ah, fuck. Yeah. Okay, with that being said, Jesus Christ. Because I got to give shouts out. You give a shout out to the, to the, to the new one. Why? So, that, so we say it right. That's why. I Promescent. Yep. That's right. Correct. And so don't forget to check out their website. Again, that's P R O M E S C E N T dot com. Uh, they've got all kinds of products. You want to check them out. You can save 15% again when you use your code KK15, Crazy Cats with 15. Check them out today. Uh, and we will let you know when we're doing the show with Jeff on there. That'll be exciting. Also, remember, and here's for YouTube. One of their products. Uh, also, don't forget, you know what? You want your best meat rubs in the world. Where are you going to get the best meat rubs at? Where they make the best meat? Nebraska. Uh, that's right. Local company here. Smoking Meats Barbecue Treats dot com. Check them out today. Make sure you tell them Kazma sent you. Get your rub and rub it on. Lick it off. Uh, also, you can find us at Crazy K R A Z. What? No, you can send us a message at Crazy dot Kazma K S B H dot com. Nope. Be crazy dot Kazma at gmail dot com. <laughs> Fuck my life. You can also follow us on Twitter at Truth Crazy. You can uh, buy our shit. You can do all kinds. Of, I don't know what I'll do. What? Find us. Find us, damn Full it. Find us. Shop. Full swap radio. Radio. Crazy. Dot com. Do E I E I O. Uh, Instagram, which you never post on, so it really doesn't matter. I have matter, to. I've been getting yelled at right But now. it's at, it's at uh, crazy.casbo. And again, don't forget also our good friends at asmlifestylemagazine.com. Check them out. Three million swingers can't be wrong. And I posted a thing. We want the army to go to Orlando. Let's show them what we can do to take over Florida. We'll take over the penis of this country and fucking show them what it's all about. Kazakhstan. I actually can't wait to go over. Neither can I. It's going to be fun as fuck. So, anyways, with all that being said, holy fucking A, did we just babble a lot. Thank you, you so much. Did. Shut up. No. Thank you so much, all you guys, for listening to all of our stories and being a part of our little family. Uh, doing it the only way I know how, the only way I want to, the only way I ever motherfucking will. Casma style, out. <laughs>